cool people because they said, but your friends are often your worst enemies because often you pick them because they do not confront you with truth. They do not confront you with your reality. They help to maintain you in your own self-deception. They don't say, hey, you're wrong. You're destroying yourself. It's terrible. Often we get rid of those people. They make us angry. Hey, I'm having fun. You blew my high, man. You know, you blew my head. You know, this, you know, this person hanging around here, they not smoking and party with me. You know, you, you, you put a wet bank blanket on the whole party. And of course, the thing you're running from, of course, is that they may be pointing out how foolish and self-destructive you are. But you don't want to face that right now. So what do you do? You move toward people who support this. So the self-hating person falls in love, surely, and experiences love, surely. But more nine times out of ten, they're going to move toward a person who maintains their self-destructiveness. A part of the problem with the black love situation today, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have been duped into self-hatred by the European. You see? He's made us hate our heritage, hate our skin, hate our hair, hate our noses and our lips. He's made us hate Africa itself and the whole African heritage. He's made us hate being black as individuals. So consequently, we're going to love somebody who doesn't remind us of who we are and what we are, you see. And we move then in our love toward people who can help us, what, escape from that which we hate. And that's why we will often love our enemies if those enemies can take us away from ourselves. That's why we love our overeating. We love our, our oversexing ourselves. We love our drugs. Anything that does what? Takes us away from our situation. We love it. And you will see, ladies and gentlemen, when you're in, in, in an oppressed situation, your world must be reversed. The European is 10% of the world's population, but yet rules over the other 90%. Europeans have no real natural resources or whatever, real natural wealth in their land, but yet they are the richest people on earth. Japan has no natural resources, whatever, but yet it is seen as a powerful nation. It can only, these nations can only achieve that by maintaining the other 90% of the world in a state of deception in a state of craziness and madness. That's the only way it can be done. You can only be robbed when you're deceived and you don't know what to do with the wealth that you have. And this is the community we have here today. The black community here, if we looked at it as a nation, would be the tenth, ninth richest nation on earth. But yet you call yourself poor. You don't want to educate your own children using your own money. You can't build your own schools and build your own universities and build your own nations. Not because you don't have money, but because the love you have makes you spend the money with your enemy. And you spend it then with the pusher and with the other person. And they make you feel good and you love them because they supply you with this. And this love then, of course, takes you away. And you hate the people who don't supply you with this, even though they're your best friends. You see, and you attack them. So then this self-hatred that has been introduced into the black man means that often if we do not clear this self-hatred out, we will love each other, yes, but the kind of love we have for each other will often end up destroying us. It will destroy our children. We see many of our children are destroyed in the name of what? Love.